tutorial happy October 1st by the way um, this is inspired by Tara McPherson again I will link her down below her illustrations are beautiful and yeah so the first thing I'm doing is I'm sketching out everything that I'm gonna be painting so I'm sketching out the little heart hole in my chest the little I don't, I don't know little people coming out of my chest and then the little um, eyeball balloons coming out of my chest Now on to painting. So I am starting with taking my Mayron paint. I'm taking a light blue shade and I am just basically laying down the paint in um, all the areas. I'm just like laying down flat color. The first color I'm going in with is the light blue and each time I lay down paint I am taking my sponge and just tapping it out because it just helps it blend out in a more like unpatchy way. After blue, we're taking the white paint. So I'm just coloring in all of the little like faces and the whites of the eye balloons. Now for my little pink people, I took the light pink paint and the white paint and I mixed them together and I just got a really light like baby pink shade um, and I just laid that down and I also colored in the um, irises of the eye balloons with that light pink shade. After that I am taking the red paint and I'm filling in the red area and then I'm taking in the black paint and I'm filling in the black area of the hole in my chest and honestly guys like I've never done like an illusion piece before but it felt kind of weird and strange editing this because I feel like it looks kind of believable like if I didn't have a white chair it kind of looks like I genuinely have a hole in my chest and it only gets like worse or more believable looking as I go on and like add more details and stuff so yeah it was just really interesting because I've never done one of these before and I like I've seen like a ton of people do them on Instagram but yeah I want to do more of them they're like really they're kind of cool since my paint is a little bit patchy I'm going in with corresponding eyeshadows and I'm just trying to like layer up the opacity um, of each one of the colors so the first color I'm taking is this like light blue shade from my Sephora watercolor palette and once I lay down that blue it's like yeah, I mean, it's kind of even more patchy. So I took my white eyeshadow from my Busy Art Editorial Brights palette and I put that down on top and it made it way less patchy looking and just like more uniform. After that, I take the Sephora watercolor palette again. I take the light pink from it and I'm just laying that down in all the light pink areas. So my little noodle people and the irises. In all seriousness though, don't my little noodle people kind of look like big toes? Like before they have faces, they kind of look like big toes. I'm just saying, once I say that, I feel like you guys are not going to be able to unsee it, but like when I was painting this, I was like, yo, these look like toes, and then I gave them faces and it wasn't so bad. Um, but anyway, then I took white and I, like my white eyeshadow from my Vizier palette, and I just filled in all the white areas. And then red from the Vizier palette, um, the light red, I just took that and filled in the red of my chest. I took the Venus XL palette from Lime Prime and I took Aphrodite and I started to shade in the chest area. So I'm basically shading where the curves start and where they end and I'm keeping that middle part like pretty red and bright. Um, and then I took Obsidian from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I started to further 
shade in this chest piece. And then I took my Amazon knockoff Makeup Forever palette. It's like a cream paint palette. And I took the pink from it and I just started to outline the heart with pink. After that, I did some further shading with Obsidian. So I just did like an outline on the upper part of the curve of the heart and then I started to kind of blend it downward. Again though, I'm keeping like a lot of that intensity where the curve starts and where the curve ends because that's gonna give it more of a 3D effect. I took my pink from the Viseart Editorial Brights palette and I started to shade the one side of each one of my noodle people with that pink, the dark pink. Um, and each time I add details to my little noodle people, it's basically the same on each one because they're basically, yeah, they're supposed to be like the same thing. It's funny though because like, I feel like the one on, what is it, the left side looks the best and the one like on my neck looks fucking horrendous because it's just like, it's so hard to paint in your neck. Like y'all don't understand unless you've tried it, it's difficult. But yeah, I also shaded in the iris of my eyeballs. After taking that pink, I took the yellow from the Editorial Brights palette and I added some like, I don't know, some yellow to my little noodle people. I just wanted a little bit more color. I didn't want them just being pink. Um, and then I took the black again from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I created some more depth to my red meat heart thing. Yeah, I'm just like, I, like, I brought down those lines by the way because I thought it made it look a little more textured because I feel like if you had a big gaping hole in your heart, it would look a little textured, you know? I started my shading in my party peoples, so I took the teal from the Sephora watercolor palette and I started to shade in the like top of the face where like, I don't know, the bangs or whatever those things are, and the, what is that, the left side of the face. Um, and yeah, I just did the same thing on each of them because they're all basically the same thing. I took that black Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow and I started to give my ladies a face because they desperately need one. So I started with giving them closed eyes and then just like kind of a line for a mouth. Um, I'm gonna do the nose with the dark teal eyeshadow from my Viseart Editorial Brights palette. And I'm keeping the nose like so simple, like super, super simple because honestly, noses are difficult to draw and they're extra difficult to draw when you're doing three of them at weird angles. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like giving her like the most basic of nostrils and like lower part of her nose um, and then I started to give my ladies some eyelids with that teal eyeshadow. Going back into that Sephora palette I took the like peachy shade and I just gave my girls some little rosy cheeks because if you guys have seen any of these videos where I paint people uh, like body painting and I'm painting people I love rosy cheeks like I I love rosy cheeks um, but moving on I took my Smashbox Always On Liquid Liner and I started to add in some details for the lids so like where it closes and the mouth I drew like a line and then I gave them two little dots for nostrils because I was like I'm not going big or going home I just want very basic nose on these ladies um, and this is the NYX foundation mixer in white so I added uh, some little highlights to my lady's face. We're building up these highlights and giving her some on our lids and on her um, Forehead and each time I lay down like this mixer and it looks a little too intense I go in with my finger and I tap it and it makes it less intense. So that's what I'm doing um, I also gave her kind of a more extreme highlight on the right side of her face and down her nose These are my absolute New York liquid liners. They're in mint and uh, lemon or something. <laughs> I'm just tapping some more highlights in this lady's face, like on her lips, and her eyes, on her nose. And I also took the yellow just to give it a little bit more of an extreme highlight. Um, and then I took my NYX white liquid liner and I'm starting the last layer of highlights just all around, just basically putting it in all the areas that I was putting it. So like her um, eyes, nose, chin, cheeks, lips just everywhere, just little dots of highlights. With my NYX Vivid Bright and Vivid Petal, I am just creating like little highlights on the red outline of the hole in my chest and also on my little ladies, I create a little outline on them with that pink liquid liner. And then we took my white liquid liner and I did the same thing, just little highlights on my chest. 
And then I wanted to work on the hole in my chest, so I took the pink from my knockoff Makeup Forever palette, and I'm just creating the first kind of highlight going on on the chest, and then I took the Vivid Petal liquid liner again, and I just tapped some highlights with that. And then I took my um, white liquid liner, and I'm starting the more kind of intense highlights, which are just dots of white, basically. I decided my ladies also needed some sort of like a highlight or outline or whatever on them so I took my white liquid liner and I started to outline the one side of each of them. After that I took my black eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and a little tiny brush and I just started to sort of outline their face with that because I just wanted their face to have a little bit more of a presence on whatever this like pink little body is. <laughs> so I just decided to shade it. Taking the super dark red from my Mayron palette, I started to outline each one of my little noodle ladies. Um, so I just outlined one side of their little noodle body. And then again, taking Aphrodite from the Venus XL palette, I wanted like that black to be a little bit less intense, so I just shaded it around the black. And then I took my pink from the Viseur palette and I shaded it around that as well because I just wanted to kind of dull out the black a little bit. Now we're heading on to these eyes and giving them some details, so I took my blue from my Sephora watercolor palette and I started to shade in just around the white of the eye. With the dark red from my Vizier Editorial Brights palette, I started to shade in one side of each of the irises. And then I took my black Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow and I gave my little eyeballs a pupil. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever knockoff cream paint palette and I took the white from it and I took a little tiny paintbrush and I'm just bringing in some like intense big kind of highlights of white in certain areas and I also outlined parts of the eye with that white cream paint. Taking my dark blue paint, I am just making strings for each one of these little eyeball balloons. I wanted those strings to like, you know, pop out a little bit more so I took my white liquid liner and just created some dots of highlights on the strings. With the yellow um, Absolute New York liquid liner, I'm just tapping some little bits of yellow in the irises. And then I took my white liquid liner from NYX and I just created those like more extreme highlights. I'm doing like a bit of an outline around each one of the eyeballs and then I'm tapping some of that white into the eye like coming from the outline and also just dots of white in the iris. Taking that black Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow again, I am just outlining each like part of the white part of the eyeball balloons. Um, I just wanted them to look a little bit more kind of grounded um, and substantial and not, like I just feel like it makes them look more there, you know what I mean? And then I added some little gold star stickers throughout my chest and then I started to draw on some um, stars. So I did that with my NYX gold liquid liner and I also did it with the white. So the gold stars are like filled in with the gold and I'm doing like just your very basic drawing of a star like what you learned in elementary school. Um, and then the white ones are more of like an outline um, of a star. With my yellow eyeshadow from my Vizier palette, I am just creating these little like yellow glowy things all throughout my chest. So I'm doing that with like a round small eyeshadow brush and I'm just dipping it in the eyeshadow and pushing down really hard and then twisting. And then I took the white Mayron paint and I tapped that on top to make it look a little bit brighter. And then I tapped the eyeshadow on top again. And then I took the NYX Vivid Bright in Vivid Halo and I did a little dot on top. Um, of each one of these glows just to make it look more intense. And then this is my e.l.f. post workout spray. I sprayed that on my face and then I took my Makeup Forever Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer and put those on. And then I took the light blue mirror paint and I started my face, started painting it. So I'm just laying it down uh, with a paintbrush and then tapping my sponge on top. I'm creating like a bit of a mask effect on my face. So I took the red paint and I just 
put that on the area of my eyes and at first I was like so nervous to do this but I think it looks really nice like a glam ninja turtle or something um, but I laid that down and then I just tapped it into the blue and it blended really well this is the Krylon TV paint stick in 070. I'm just putting that on all the areas that I would highlight. So chin, tip of my nose, underneath my cheekbones, and then tapping it out with the beauty blender. And then I took the blue from my Sephora watercolor palette and I'm laying that down on top of my face just like I did with the chest. I'm trying to um, get more of like an opacity going on because it just looks kind of patchy to me. And then I took the Viseart white eyeshadow, laid that down on top again to make it more, you know, of a uniform blue shade. Um, and then I took the red from the Vizier palette and I laid that down on top of my mask thing going on. With the dark blue from the Vizier palette, I'm just starting to contour my cheekbones and underneath my lips. So I'm just doing the contours of my cheeks with like just lines and bringing it kind of up into the red and then I'm just shading in underneath my lip to contour underneath there. I wanted a bit more of a contour, so I took the purple from the Viseart palette and I just basically put that wherever I put the blue. And it looks fucking insane at first. Like, I, it looks crazy. Like, just hold on. Just, what is that? But then I just um, ended up blending, like, the ever-loving shit out of it and it ends up looking okay. This is Tarte's Natural Beauty favorite blush ever, but I just took that and I put that, like, on my cheeks and on my nose to further blend out. More contouring, I took the dark red from the Vizier palette and I started to contour my nose a little bit. And I also brought that into my eyes, so I'm just putting that in my crease, that dark red. I'm also bringing that red kind of out into my temples because I just wanted like a very smoked out look happening and I brought some underneath my eyes because I'm doing like the whole like kind of model eye bulge thing in this tutorial which you guys will see what I'm talking about but this is the black Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow again and I'm just really smoking out that black bringing it onto my temples um, and blending it out a little bit. Right, now for like the extreme version of the eye bulge thing so I'm just taking that black and I'm lining my lower lash line and then I'm taking a little bit of that black and I'm going right underneath my eyes and making my eyes look a little bit bulgier um, and then I'm blending it out quite a bit and then I am taking the white from that Make It Forever uh, knockoff palette and I'm just creating like a white highlight going on underneath my eyes to make them look even more bulgier and um, Yes, I'm just creating a line, blending it, and then I took the white liquid liner from NYX and I'm creating a like shine right in the middle of my eyes with that to, again, make the illusion that my eyes are bulgy under there. And then this is the Nikki Tutorials Ofra Highlighter in Cloud9, and it just, I love this highlighter, guys. But anyway, I highlighted my cheekbones, nose, inner corner, nose bridge, um, Cupid's bow, all over. Now for some more eyeball stuff. So I took Desire from the Notoriously Morbid Multicrims and I put that on the middle of my eye. Um, and I'm just building it up. And then I took Destiny and I am putting that on the inner part of my eye. So I just wanted the pink to fade into the red a little bit. Um, and then this is the white eyeshadow from the Vizier palette. I'm highlighting my eyebrow bone. This is the Kat Von D brow pomade. Um, and I'm just filling in my eyebrows how I normally do. So, yeah. I'm really into obnoxious like white highlights on my nose and my lips for creative tutorials so that's what I'm doing I'm putting one on my nose just kind of outlining my nostrils and then I created the cat eye with the Make It Forever ink liner. I'm doing a bit of like a knee design going down my cheeks um, so I'm doing that with the white Mayron paint and I'm just doing a combination of dots and then little teardrops and they're just going down to about my lips. Now 
now for some stars so i wanted to tie together the chest and the face so i took those star stickers again put some on my cheeks i only had like a very limited amount of them but um i also put the little white outline stars on my face as well and i really think they look so cute Now for some colorful freckles. So I'm taking the, um, uh, what is this called? It's the NYX colored uh, mascara and coral reef. I'm just tapping that like all around my nose. Um, and then I took the blue milk liquid liner from Lime Prime and I'm just tapping that also all throughout my nose, but also onto like my cheekbone as well. I wanted like more of an intense highlight in my inner corner. So I took the um, e.l.f glitter liner in what is this pink opal and I just tap that in my inner corner and then I took the Urban Decay Lo-Fi lip mousse in Amplify and I smudged that all over my lips. I wanted like a shadow around my lips a little bit so I took the blue eyeshadow from the Viseart palette and I just smudged that all over my lips like wherever the Amplify lip mousses and then I create a little bit of a highlight on my lips with the NYX white liquid liner and that's it you guys I really hope you guys like this tutorial happy beginning of October and I'm probably gonna put up like a butt ton of these creative tutorials for Halloween so I hope you guys enjoy them if you guys have any like suggestions let me know down below I will link Tara McPherson down below you guys should check out her artwork and uh, like this video if you like this video subscribe makes me happy and hope you guys have a beautiful day bye You're close.